So I tell them to use the splay 30 minutes, right? Just see how you feel, walk around your home, sit on the couch, whatever it is. What are some things we can do for the big toe? You mentioned it a bunch of times, and I know some people are a little crazy about it. And it's my understanding that if we can get uh, some separation between the big toe and uh, the other toes, sometimes that can help create a little bit of an arch. And it just gives us, I think, more options in how our foot is making contact with the ground. So what are some things that we should maybe focus on with the big toe? Yeah, so the big toe, you do want to have what's called centration, like a center joint. You don't want it kind of deviating out to the side, which is a bunion, right? When you have a bunion, you actually pull the most important intrinsic muscle in your foot, which is called your abductor hallucis. Yeah, I see that and a lot where the toe is, uh, the big toe is pointed towards the other toes. Yes, right? yep. So if the first goes towards the second and it starts to angulate, mm -hmm. part of what also shifts with it, it, with it is there's these two little bones on the bottom of your foot called sesamoids. Mm. I don't know if you've ever heard of like sesamoiditis or sesamoid Sounds fractures. Sounds scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your patella. Your patella is a sesamoid bone, mm. right? So it's just a floating bone. Mm. But we have these little sesamoids that your muscles run through. And when you have a bunion, those shift over. And the muscle that shifts over is your arch stabilizing muscle. So if any of the intrinsic muscles, if people are like, I hate anatomy, sorry, it is your abductor hallucis which runs along the inside. So it's here. Mm. That's your abductor hallucis, okay? So that muscle attaches to one of your sesamoids. Mm -hmm. And when your sesamoids move, when you have a bunion, that muscle gets like shifted over here. So what I tell people is to try to engage a muscle that is in a lengthened position. The analogy I always give is because I know you guys will get this is you have you know the person at the gym and they set up like the pec deck machine yeah yeah, yeah. like way far back here and then they're <laughs> like right you there's got to have like a length tension relationship mm -hmm. so that's what happens essentially to the abductor hallucis when someone has a bunion yeah right so align the joint toe spacers i know you like nervosa yeah, splay I love those things, yeah. yes so toe spacers such as warm the on the splay. plane I know, I saw the video, right? <laughs> yeah, wore, wore them walking in the airport and stuff. It feels great like to wear yeah. them and actually have, you know, move around in them is what I would advise people to try to do. Right, yeah. So when you have a bunion, a bunion is actually progressive. So every step that you take, you're, you're essentially making your bunion worse. Mm. Even if you're in minimal shoes and all of that, if you have a bunion and you walk on it, it is progressing with every step that you take. Yeah. Because you're just feeding the beast in a sense, right? So using something like the Naboso splay can pull it into a more centered position to restrict the muscle imbalance that's essentially driving it. Power Project Family, how's it going? So no matter what diet you're on or no matter what supplements you take, it's necessary as you get older to know what's going on under the hood. That's why I've partnered with Merrick Health. They're the Prima Health Clinic owned by Derek from More Plates, More Dates. And we have a panel that will allow you to get all of your labs done and checked in a super easy fashion. Andrew, how can they get it? Yeah, you guys got to head over to MerrickHealth.com slash Power Project. That's M A. R E K health.com slash power project. And at checkout, enter promo code power project to save $101 off of this comprehensive panel links to them down in the description, as well as the podcast show notes. Quick question about this because, um, you know, I have a friend actually, we were, we, he was just at my house this morning and looking at his feet, his big toe is literally points. Both his big toes are pointing towards the other toes and you can see that he has a bunion on it. Right. Um, I know that you can't say how long th things like this should take, but I, it will take people a while if they do have that to make this shift. How should they try? How often should they be using this? Like, should they just use it when they're sitting at their desk, et cetera? And what kind of change can they expect to see through the years? Yeah. Like, can that toe actually come back to where it should be as an adult? Okay. So here's the thing with bunions. Uh -huh. <laughs> is, so our goal with bunions is that we want to push pause on them. Uh, you just want, don't want it to keep going in that direction. Yeah. Can we just like pause everything, right? Don't Through, get any worse. Don't get any worse, right? Are there going to be some mild ones that will, you'll send me a before and after and be like, oh my God, I corrected my bunion. Sure, that's mild, mm -hmm. right? But when it starts to cross this point of perhaps what your friend has, right? Or what stereotypically people think of as bunions, you're trying to push pause, Yeah. right? So I tell them to use the splay 30 minutes, 
right? Just see how you feel, walk around your home, sit on the couch, whatever it is, just to see how you respond to it. If you like it, slowly increase that time, right? And then start to use it when walking around if you can, because again, bunions are progressive when you walk. Mm -hmm. So we need to resist that in your shoes. So you have to wear a more minimal shoe, right? Yeah. It's not gonna wear in a traditional, or fit in a traditional shoe, but the more you can wear it, the better especially during times of movement, mm -hmm. walking, working out, things like that. Do you run with yours? I have. Yeah, I have yeah. done that before. It's a little bit challenging sometimes because then you need a shoe that uh, is really wide. Mm. Okay. So I can do it in my Shama uh, sandals. Mm. These are Shama's, guys. I'm pretty sure our code is Power Project. So these, you can wear them mm -hmm. with these on. Yep. They're flat. They're wide. They're fucking amazing. Shockingly comfortable. Mm -hmm. Your Shocking. feet, um, with the toe splay while you're running, mm -hmm. feels amazing. Um, and if someone can do it on a field, again, like <laughs> do barefoot stuff on appropriate land in mm -hmm. accordance to like where you're at in your own foot training. But uh, for me, I've used those toe splays um, uh, on a field and that felt amazing. And it felt like, it 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 uh it felt like a lot of individual stretching for my toes, but mm -hmm. it felt good. Like it didn't it didn't hurt. It didn't feel like I was ripping anything apart or anything. It felt it felt comfortable. And then when I was in uh, Hawaii recently, I ran in the sandals with the toe splays oh. on, and that felt mm -hmm. incredible as well. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. yeah, I mean your plantar fascia runs from your heel and then inserts into the base of your toes. Mm -hmm. So when you stretch with the toe spacers, you're actually stretching your plantar fascia. Mm -hmm. So it's one of the treatments. I give for plantar fasciitis is as part of this, like the four quadrants I spoke about of those four things, is to also use toe spacers to stretch the plantar fascia, mm -hmm. or it's a prevention technique for plantar fasciitis. So what have you seen with improvements in terms of uh, people doing some myofascial release on the foot? Because the ball that you gave us has a little tiny ball inside mm -hmm. of it. There's and one that, right behind you. That you little tiny uh, pebble thing that's in there is... Uh, <laughs> is excruciating to roll around on. Yeah, we have one out. Peeps, we love bringing you all this fitness information, and we also want to help bring that information to more people. So if you could help us out, hit that rev subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell, and we'll continue to bring you the heat. And I won't whisper in your ear. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.